In this particular production, we used AI to um, generate the initial concept arts. The initial concept art we used to then uh, create the environment, and we also used that to um, kind of like inspire the uh, different groups on the productions. We then used AI to uh, both generate assets for the virtual world, and the different teams also used it to generate their previous that gave us a better idea of what they were visually going for and also the composition of the different shots. We were uh, doing the previous, the previsualizations uh, in order to make a storyboard. We came with a, an idea um, and then we were just trying to visualize the kind of shots we want to we want for, for this production. I think using AI in, uh, in productions has very big potential, both in good and bad ways. In a way, I see it as the same, but doing it on steroids, so we can do much more, we can do it much faster, and we cannot necessarily do it better, but we can do it differently, and I think we can especially use it to challenge ourselves in new ways. The main potential for this is that if we can in the future write a prompt, and based on that get a 3D scene that we can use uh, the camera tracking to have a scene like the ones we have been shooting at but without uh, so much um, use of 3D uh, models that we have to build ourselves. So that is the potential but of course it also gives some limitations because I think still that uh, glimpse in the eye from the actors uh, we hopefully cannot emulate that with AI and I think always there's the human touch of everything that uh, AI will not be able to take over. Another limitation that we see with AI is also that we are still only scratching the surface of what can be done. I think it's very important that we have this uh, the talks about like um, the ethics and how we um, use other people's content but we have to find that balance so that it still we still allow for um, like the progress of developments, but it should not be on at the cost of the artists. Very important uh, as a photographer, as an uh, artist, also in my uh, personal projects. I think it's very important to to respect the, the the creation of the different artists and individuals. And I think we're already hearing about some kind of regulations in order how we're gonna use the material. Uh, the AI is actually using it as well. I definitely believe that uh, the creators whose content is used in uh, film production uh, would ask for their permission and also be compensated. So that's very important to think that uh, the human creativity uh, is always a step ahead from the AI because the AI is only learning from what it already can find out there. In this uh, workshop, uh, I've actually learned uh, a lot of new stuff uh, about making film in another way than I'm used to. During this workshop, I've learned a couple of new things. I think for us as the facilitators, we of course look into a lot of new programs, a lot of new uh, workflows. So for us, this has been a great opportunity to dive a little bit deeper and find some new ways to do things, for example, how do we generate assets or how do we um, implement this as part of the like pre-production, stuff like that.
I think this has been a really wonderful workshop. It's so much fun. And I really like what wizards are doing with these workshops. I think it's something that we don't see many places anymore because to me anyway, what wizards provide is a safe space and a playground. This is a place to experiment and a place to try out new things, to get crazy ideas and people support you in this. It's not so much about the end result, it's about the process and it's about learning and getting out of your comfort zone and being a bit edgy, especially with new technologies and merging old technologies with new. And I think that's really, really cool to create a space where we can explore this together. Everyone knows that we're here for the experience and getting better on the other side. I realized that you can use AI in every aspect of filmmaking, even for voiceover, uh, music, etc. At Wizards, uh, in the future workshops, we would like to try to see if we can make a more automated system that we can actually, through a prompt, through images, to create 3D worlds based on that, or 3D scenography we can use uh, as set extensions. See how far we can get within the next uh, workshops in um, creating the 3D models, the assets and so on we need, so we can make a faster pipeline in the pre-production and also optimize the post-production as well. I think what Wizards is doing is really important, giving the opportunity to filmmakers to explore new technologies and uh, uh, the, the boundaries of uh, virtual production. I think the Wizards workshop in a, is an amazing opportunity f so you can learn things about it, play around with it, see how it works uh, in action because a lot of us don't have the experience of like actually working with it, trying to figure out what's limitations, what you can do with it, what you can't do with it. So it's a great learning uh, process. The AI could actually also learn from Wizards from what we've done. I think that's fair enough because we have been standing on shoulders of people who have contributed to the mid-journey, uh, you know, artwork as well. So, of course, I think that uh, it's okay that the AI learns from what we have done here, if it's possible, somehow.